the electromagnetic spectrum has come to the forefront of warfare as a new vital aspect of battlefield success. Project manager Electronic Warfare and Cyber has made it their business to lead the way with technologies that will keep soldiers on the cutting edge of combat and intelligence in multi-domain operations. Multifunction Electronic Warfare Large, or MFU AL, uh, provides a maneuver commander with the ability to sense an electromagnetic spectrum. That's very important, especially as we uh, build capabilities to address the national defense security strategy, uh, such as near-peer threats. Near-peer threats utilize a lot of ELINT threats or radars uh, in order to, uh, to aid them in, in, in seeing our capabilities. So our ability to sense those in, in, the, e, in the EMS is very important to provide the maneuver commander with, uh, with information about the threat. TRADOC Capability Manager Electronic Warfare is our prime user and they're the people we work with on understanding what the user's needs are and, and, and then mapping that to capabilities and putting together an actual material solution. So I, I would say it's a relationship between the user community as well as industry and working together and understanding the technologies in order to do that material development for the user. MFU Air Large started its air base testing at Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst, where many different airframe based technologies have their first time in the sky. Engineers and industry partners will continue these sorts of tests on JB, MDL, and elsewhere to ensure a greater range of capabilities for the MFU Air Large that ensure American forces can continue to match threats of many types. After testing is complete, MFU AL will be mounted on the MQ 1C Gray Eagle for missions in the field. I'm John Higgins, Program Executive Office, Intelligence, Electronic Warfare and Sensors, Public Affairs.